everybody, Joe here, and this is the Toshiba Satellite. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Toshiba Satellite C55TA. And this is my review of it. If you want to click up there, you can go back to my unboxing and first impressions video um, and watch that because that's where I open up the box. You can see everything inside of it. And then I give my first, it's very, I don't know why I'm explaining it. It's very simple concept. But here are some things about it. So I'm going to go over the ports again, even though I've done that yesterday. Um, so this, you guys can't see that. Or whatever. So here, that's like a heat vent grill thing. This, that's a VGA port. That's Ethernet, HDMI, USB 2.0, USB 3.0. Alright, and then there's a microphone. I know you guys can't see that, but there's a microphone jack and a headphone jack. Alright, there's absolutely nothing up here. So on the side... Um, we've got a thing, if you if you have a 3G radio you want to plug in, there's the charging point, the charging slot, USB 2.0, and that's your optical drive, CD and DVD. Now, one thing that I noticed pretty quickly is that, and this is nothing to do, it's not the computer's fault, but Microsoft stopped paying the rights to be able to play DVDs so Windows Movie Maker excuse me Windows Media Player can no longer play DVDs so you, I have to I had to go download a third party software but that's Windows that's nothing to do with the computer overall I think the computer's pretty good it runs just as I would expect a Windows 8 PC to run it's nice and fast I can whoa man I do not want to drop this I can just go zipping around the start screen easily. Oh yeah, it's touch. But I can go zipping around the start screen easily, go to my desktop, it loads programs fairly quickly. And then I close it really quick. Um, I do love Windows 8, especially on a touch screen, so that is a big plus for me in this. Now, one thing I wasn't too fond of is that sometimes it will stuff up and become increasingly slow, and I had to reboot it. But I, again, think that's a fault with Windows, especially since this version has only been out for a year. There's still going to be bugs, but I think... I was just wasn't too happy with that, but I don't think that's the at fault of the machine itself. But as far as the machine, it does have a multi-touch trackpad, but you don't really need it with the touch. Like it is also gesture enabled, so I can come in like that, well, like that for the charms. But why would I do that when I can just swipe in from the side of the? It's because I'm not looking at it straight on. Why would I use the trackpad when I just come in from the side of the screen? So, that's something. Um, I do really like the computer. I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, I do recommend it. It's $430 at Best Buy as of right now. And this is August 2013. So, if you're watching this in like two years and it doesn't even exist, don't yell at me. But... The webcam here does have a webcam. Where's where did I put my camera app? Okay, well I'll just search for it. What's nice about Windows 8 is right on the search screen, you can just start typing, and I don't have to go into Charms and click search. All right, so here is the camera, and there you are. Um, the camera isn't great, but it it does what it needs to. Uh, I did find a fault with it that it won't record a video, but that's at fault of Windows that's, again, not the machine. Um, pretty much every problem I found has nothing to do with the machine itself. 
and anything with windows can be easily fixed uh, in fact I think it's actually something I did so don't think that Windows 8 is bad because of it so overall it's a really great machine um, I'm sorry I'm really tired that's why I seem to be talking slow but it's a really great machine I do highly recommend it uh, the DVD player I, I downloaded well, the link will be in the description and one thing I forgot is there is an SD card slot on the bottom, right there, all right? And then, so you have three lights here. This one on the left is for charging, this one's for power, and this one is for Wi-Fi, all right? So, I do recommend the computer. I know I sound like a broken record because I keep saying that, but I do recommend the computer. Now... Something I've been thinking about doing is starting a Windows 8 tutorial channel now that I have that computer, and I probably will. Um, link will be in the description if you want to subscribe early and be, and be notified of my first video. Go for it. Uh, the channel is live at this point. Bleh, point. Um, but I don't have anything posted. I will get a video up there next Friday. Alright? So, subscribe to this channel right here. Just subscribe to my Windows 8 tutorial channel right there. And if you want to go back and see the uh, unboxing and first impressions of the Toshiba Satellite C55TA, right there. I will see you all next Tuesday. Now, I know it's been a while, but next week will not be a tech week. Oh, I know, I know. I'll be back to doing regular videos, but I got some nice content in store for you all. So, I'm Joe Green. I'll see you Tuesday.